And good evening, everyone, and welcome into another night of high school basketball on Hometown Media. Tonight, the Woodland Warriors have traveled to Angola to take on the Angola Hornets. Mark Cockcroft is on assignment in East Lansing tonight. You can probably figure what he's doing. I'm Brett Briscoe, Matthew Bracey on camera. I think we got a pretty good one for you tonight as the Woodland Warriors come in two and two on the season. Angola Hornets looking for that elusive first win and hope to pick it up here at the Hive tonight. Woodland comes in with some pretty good size. They are led by Trey Yoder. He's a 6'7 junior and he leads the Warriors in scoring at 16 points a game. Meanwhile, Braden Smith, a 6'2 senior, is second in scoring at 14 points a ball game. Dane Lance, at just over 13 a game, leads the Angola Hornets. We'll come back and we will get you set with tonight's action. Angola hosting Woodland right here on Hometown Media. When you look back at the medical care you receive, it becomes clear that what matters most isn't just where you receive care, but the quality of that care. After all, it's your health, so it's only natural to want more. More skilled physicians and more specialized services. Of course, you also want more technology, like the latest medical equipment and advanced treatment options. However, it's important that healthcare innovations and advanced diagnostics also come with more personalized, one-on-one -on -one care from trusted providers. You'll find all of that and much more right here at Cameron Hospital. Cameron Memorial Community Hospital, moving forward. Farmer State Bank opened its doors and began serving our communities in 1915. For more than 100 years, Farmer State Bank has focused on helping our communities grow and succeed. When I think about Farmer State Bank, the first word that comes to my mind is togetherness. Teamwork. Helpful. Involvement. Passionate. Local. Family. Inspiring. Longevity. I have never seen a place of employment to where people have had career longevity. We have had people retire from Farmer State Bank who have been in the business for over 40 years, which I think is just awesome and amazing. And I hope that one day that I get to do that too. Come experience the blue button difference. That's the winning play. I'm Wes Hanke, Realtor with Mike Thomas Associates. And I'm Paul Lang, Mortgage Lender with Bailey & Wood Financial Group. Let, Let us help you win by scoring your dream home. Tired of waiting for a doctor's referral to start physical therapy? At Indiana Physical Therapy, you don't need a prescription. You have the power to choose where you go for expert care. Our experienced therapists will help you get back to doing what you love. With over 19 locations, getting the care you need has never been easier. Take the first step towards a healthier, more active lifestyle. Visit indianapt.com to schedule your appointment today. Indiana Physical Therapy, where people go to get better. 
Tired of waiting for a doctor's referral to start physical therapy? At Indiana Physical Therapy, you don't need a prescription. You have the power to choose where you go for expert care. Our experienced therapists will help you get back to doing what you love. With over 19 locations, getting the care you need has never been easier. Take the first step towards a healthier, more active lifestyle. Visit indianapt.com to schedule your appointment today. Josh Maggard with Senior Financial Solutions is your local source for Medicare, health, and life insurance, as well as retirement planning. Josh has been serving the entire tri-state area for over a decade, while the team at Senior Financial Solutions has over 125 years of combined experience and are able to offer multiple options in Medicare and retirement planning, local, personal, and professional. Josh will work with you each step of the way. Hi, I'm Josh Maggard. Call me at 260-667-8449 for your free consultation today. Are you ready to join the Triton Metal Products starting lineup? You could be a Triton if you have grit, a strong work ethic, and you're ready to make a meaningful difference in your life. Triton offers excellent pay, great benefits, and we will train you. Join an elite team of minds plus machines. Apply now at tritonmp.com slash careers. Back at the Hive in Angola. Let's go down to the public address and tonight's lineups between Woodland and Angola. Number 22, Jace Coots. Number 45, Oliver Adams. Number 3, Ashton Jackway. Number 23, Jordan Halsey. And number 30, Keaton Delabray. And now for your starters, number five, Mason Moore. Number 13, Drew Fleet. Number 24, Luke Meyer. Number 34, Braden Smith. Number 44, Trey Yoder. North Woodland Warriors are led by head coach John Baker and Aiden Baker. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Introducing your Angola Hornets. Your non-starters, number four, Max Tynan. Number five, Ben Thomas. Number 12, Landon Leach. Number 20, Connor Clayton. Number 24, Max Brandon. And last but not least, your starter. Number zero, Tommy Haslam. Number one, Number 23, Ryan Stuckey. Your Angola Hornets are led by coaches Brandon Appleton and Dan Hostetler. So there you go. Tonight's starting lineups between Angola and Woodland is we're just about ready to get going again for Woodland. It'll be Moore and Fleet along with Meyer, Smith, and Yoder. Angola counters with Caswell, Lance, Husher, McGee, and Stuckey. Yoder and Husher to jump it up, and the tap is controlled by Angola. Lance gets a quick look at a three, and it rims off. Stuckey got the rebound, but they're going to say he pushed off. I didn't really see anybody else under the basket with him, but the foul will go on Stuckey, his first team spurt. Yep, I just saw a little bit of a delay. There was a little bit of a push. 
Full court pressure by Angola. Warriors get into the front court. This is Braden Smith. Had it poked away and stolen by Lance. Lance all the way to the other end, and that's going to be a held ball. It'll go back the other way. No score. And as we come up on 30 seconds into this Tuesday night tilt between Woodland and Angola. This is Trey Yoder. He leads Woodland in scoring at 16 a game. 6 7, Junior has it in the corner. Three won't go. And Woodland battling for the rebound. It's brought down by Fleek right in front of a pretty rowdy student section as he stepped out of bounds. And 48 seconds in, still no score. Woodland yet to get a shot on their possession. Lance kicks it right side. Stucky will take the three. That's no good. And the rebound comes down to Woodland's Mason Moore. Stutter step by Braden Smith, and that's going to be an offensive foul. You know what? Not a very big crowd here at the Hive tonight, but a loud crowd. So Smith picks up his first. That is the first against Woodland. Caswell throws it left side for McGee. And just get ready to say Caswell has had a knack for getting to the basket, and he did right there. And he gives Angola the first lead of the ball game at 2-0. Smith up top against Lance. This is Joder, left side against Stuckey. Back inside it goes for Fleek. Out top it goes to Moore, and Moore will bury the three. And Woodland has their first lead at three to two. McGee. Got it to Husher, lost it. It's picked up by Yoder, and that'll be a carry. Looks like a little bit of a high dribble just got away from Yoder. And another Woodland turnover will give Angola a chance to regain the lead. for the Warriors and here's a foul away from the basketball and that's going to go on Husher. So Kyler Husher picks up his first. That is the second in the quarter against Angola. Smith brings it up against the pesky Dane Lance. Lost the handle. Loose, Lance comes away with it. Up ahead it goes to Stuckey. Went in against Yoder and missed the layup. It's out of bounds. It'll be Angola basketball. Nice job by Trey Yoder to hustle back on defense and challenge that shot for the Warriors. Inbounds comes to Caswell in the corner. Both teams have been really aggressive in their man-to-man -man defense here early. Caswell pulls up free throw line jumper short and the rebound comes down to Woodland. Warriors back the other way as Meyer takes it into the front court. Got it down low, shot blocked. Blocked again and Stuckey comes out with it. Long pass up ahead for Husher. Leaves it for Lance. Lance lost the handle, ball loose. And here's a whistle and a foul, and Husher just picked up his second. So Max Tynan comes off the bench to replace Husher, who's picked up two fouls away from the ball here 
in less than five minutes, or less than three minutes, actually. Smith against Lan or McGee, and McGee's going to be whistled for that one. So that's 14 fouls already against Angola. Oliver Adams has checked into the Woodland lineup. He comes in to replace Drew Flea. So they trade six foot for six eight. Catch and shoot three from Yoder is good. Or, excuse me, Braden Smith cans the three. And Woodland's two field goals have both been three pointers and they lead it six to two. Ball got loose on the sideline. Woodland got possession and got the timeout. Don't forget, more high school basketball coming your way tomorrow night. It'll be girls' action as Angola plays host to Leo here at the Hive. We'll have all the action for you at 7.30 tomorrow night right here on Hometown Media. And how about what's happening up at Trine University? They have three teams ranked in the top 25 in their respective sports. Men's basketball team up five spots to number 19 this week. The women's basketball team is ranked 17th, and the men's hockey team is ranked 14th at Trine. Right here, right now, it's a 6-2 lead for Woodland. Inbounds comes to Lincoln Sparks, who just recently checked into the ball game. He'll work it up against McGee right side. Down low it goes to Adams. Can't get it to go, and on the rebound, a whistle and a foul. And this is already going to be two shots for Woodland, as that's five team fouls against the Angola. As Max Tynum picks up the foul. Send Adams to the free throw line, averages two and a half points a ball game, and he bounces home the first. Two for two for Oliver Adams, and it's a six point lead for the Warriors. Just lost the handle, loose on the floor, still loose. Tynum goes to the floor to get it. And Woodland will end up with a basketball. Corner kick, Yoder will take the three, that's no good. Stuckey's got the rebound. Got it to Lance, lays it up and in. And that stops an 8-0 Woodland run. And Cuts the lead to four. Sparks across the timeline. Picked up by McGee. McGee slapped it away. Sparks able to get it back. Left side, Smith will take a deep three, and that's blocked out of bounds by Lance. Jace Coons. A 5'11 junior has checked in now for Woodland. Coach John Baker showing he's not afraid to go to his bench. That's eight different Warriors that have played here in the first quarter. Ball knocked away by McGee, picked up by Stuckey. Back to McGee. Pass up top for Lance was deflected. I think Dane had his sights on catch and shoot three. Caswell will from the corner. It's no good. And Woodland back the other way. A lot of action for what has been a relatively low scoring quarter. That's knocked inside and knocked away by Tynan. Lance will lay it up and in. Four for Dane Lance and Woodland's lead down to two. Here's your 
Patrick Yoder, left-handed dribble, left of the lane, up too strong off the glass, tapped out by Lance. Ball loose on the floor, Caswell goes to the deck to get it, and able to get it to Stuckey. Angola can tie or take the lead. Lance pulls up right on the three-point line, no good, and Yoder's got the rebound. Seems like almost every shot Woodland's taken has been challenged. Yoder got loose inside, couldn't get it to go, but the tap up and in by Drew Fleet. Lance down to the baseline, rise and fire, too strong, and Yoder's got the rebound that came off the hands of Adams. And a lot of contact, no call, and Yoder lost the ball out of bounds. We'll go back the other way. Lander Leach, 5'11", sophomore, has checked in for Angola. Here comes Ben Thomas, the 6'2", sophomore. He'll check in for Cam McGee. So right now, Angola with four sophomores and a senior on the floor. Caswell, Leach, Tynum, and Thomas are the sophomores. Leach, or, uh, Lance is the senior. And the ball taken away. Back the other way is Fleek, and had it blocked out of bounds. happened, but Cam McGee is meeting with the trainer. That's going to go on Meyer. Only the second foul against Woodland here in the quarter. We're down to 47.8 seconds to go. Angola trails by four with the basketball. Smith will pick up Caswell. Down it to Lance. He works it against Coots. Back to Caswell. Here's a pass down low. Tynum tried to catch and shoot and then lost out of bounds. It'll be Woodland ball. Do a quick breather. Trey Yoder is going to check back in now for Woodland as he's in to replace Lincoln Sparks. Stuckey quickly off the bench for Angola. He's in for Leach. Angola setting up full court pressure, man to man. Comes into Yoder. He'll work the dribble up against Stuckey. Smith left side, down low for Yoder. A lot of contact inside, no call, and Caswell comes away with the basketball. And he carried it with one second left. right in front of the Angola bench. Chance to get a shot away. Caught by Smith. His three rims out, and that's the end of the quarter. Woodland by four after one. We're back after this on Hometown Media. The hometown life is a good life. Morning coffee at a local cafe. Friendly people who always take the time to stop and say hello. Our hometown is a great place to build a future. We're here to help you do it. The hometown life is a good life. Morning coffee at a local cafe. Friendly people who always take the time to stop and say hello. 
Our hometown is a great place to build a future. We're here to help you do it. Best One Tire of Angola has served the tri-state area with outstanding tire sales and auto repairs with all major tire brands including Bridgestone and Firestone. Best One's tire staff of highly qualified ASC certified technicians can perform a wide range of mechanical repairs. The shop also provides roadside assistance. Best One Tire of Angola, 1101 North Wayne Street, proud supporters of Angola Athletics. Basketball as we move on to the second quarter. Caswell all the way to the rack, lays it in and a foul. That cuts the Woodland lead to two. As Moore picks up the foul, his first, first against Woodland here in the quarter. And Moore promptly goes to the bench as Lincoln Sparks has checked back in. Caswell's free throw short. Stuckey, the offensive rebound. Out to McGee, extra pass for Leach. He'll take the three, that's no good. And over the basket support. And out of bounds, it'll be Woodland basketball. Smith around Stocky to the free throw line. Here's Sparks. Look at defense again by Angola. Defense has kind of been the name of the game for both teams tonight. And that pass too tall for Smith to haul in. And the Woodland turnover will send us back the other way. And Angola chance to tie or take the lead. Caswell to McGee. Cam spins into the lane. Jump stop, fall away, got it. And we're tied at 10. Sparks picked up by Caswell, right side Yoder. Over to Smith near the corner. He's got it against Tynan, and that's an offensive foul going to be called on Yoder away from the basketball. Well, we saw a lot of off-the-ball fouls here Saturday night against Concord. We've seen a bunch again here tonight. Stucky to Caswell. Into the lane, and a runner by Caswell is good. Six for Tommy Caswell, and Angola back on top, 12 to 10, their first lead since 2 0. Inside it goes for Meyer. Double team kicks it out to Smith. He'll take a deep three, and that's good again. Third three of the night for Woodland. And the Warriors bounce back on top, 13-12. Hornets didn't hit a three as Caswell got loose down the lane. And Angola back on top. Hornets did not hit a three in their game against Concord and have yet to hit one tonight, but they still have the lead by one at 14-13. 5.32 to play here in the quarter. Smith missed that one, and on the rebound, that's going to go against Drew Fleek. Lance back in for Angola. Hornets 
Pirates trying to build on a one-point lead. Caswell has been the story here in the first half. He has eight of Angola's 14 points. Lance has four, and McGee has two. Lance three rims out, and Yoder's got the rebound. Down low it goes for Oliver Adams, and he'll put it up and in for his fourth point. And Woodland seesaws back on top, 15-14. McGee inside, extra pass for Leach. His three is short. Stucky the offensive rebound. Got it to Leach. Tried to throw it around Yoder, but couldn't, and Yoder takes it away. Up ahead, Fleek into the lane. Out it goes for Moore. Back over to Yoder, looks inside for Adams. And it'll be a turnover as Moore called for steps. Ben Thomas back in for Angola. He's in for Caswell, who gets a much-deserved break, and we've got a timeout on the court. Woodland leads Angola 15-14. We've got 4-12 to go before halftime. We are back after this on Hometown Media. Um, okay, hi. So what is the occasion, Fancy Pants? Ah, that fancy DQ caramel fudge cheesecake blizzard is the occasion. Ooh, looks so indulgent. You know, this was a really great idea. Glad I thought of this. I thought of it. Yeah, maybe go ahead, let her have this one, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> DQ, happy taste good. Steuben County REMC wants to give your students a memorable experience this summer. For an unforgettable day, high school students can apply for Page Day and spend the day in session with the Indiana Senate. High school students looking for a trip of a lifetime, check out the Indiana Youth Tour and have the Washington, D.C. experience. For your younger students in the 6th grade wanting to spread their wings, Touchstone Energy Camp is perfect for them. We can't forget the young artists in the family. Students of all ages can submit their artwork to the Cooperative Calendar Art Contest. Did I mention it's all free? Find out more information or apply at www.remcsteuben.com. 15-14, Woodland with the lead. 4-12 to play here in the second quarter. It'll be Angola basketball after the turnover by Mason Moore. McGee into the front court against Fleek. Used up his dribble. Finds Stuckey. Now Thomas. Thomas into the lane, a lot of contact, no call, ball loose, brought out of there by Leach. Out to McGee, and he traveled. Here's Smith across the timeline. Up top it goes for Moore. Yoder will take it into the lane, couldn't get it to go. Adams there to clean it up and put it in. So Woodland going big with 6'7", Trey Yoder and 6'8", Oliver Adams. And they lead it by three. That ball's deflected out of bounds by Mason Moore. Angola in quite the lengthy drought without a three-pointer. Thomas baseline drive, kicks out for Leach. He'll take the three. That's no good. And Yoder up high for the rebound. Up ahead it goes to Fleek, drives baseline and steps to the lane and puts it in. And just like that, it's a five-point lead for Woodland. And Angola wants a timeout. We'll take it with them. We are back after this. Woodland leads at 19-14. You're watching high school basketball at Hometown Media. Farmer State Bank opened its doors and began serving our communities in 1915. 
For more than 100 years, Farmer State Bank has focused on helping our communities grow and succeed. When I think about Farmer State Bank, the first word that comes to my mind is togetherness. Teamwork. Helpful. Involvement. Passionate. Local. Family. Inspiring. Longevity. I have never seen a place of employment to where people have had career longevity. We have had people retire from Farmer State Bank who have been in the business for over 40 years, which I think is just awesome and amazing. And I hope that one day that I get to do that too. Six straight by Woodland has given the Warriors the five-point lead. Angola led 14-13, and Woodland now leads it by five, 19-14. 2.53 to play here before halftime. Caswell and Tyne and will now check in at the next break for the Hornets as Lance tries to get around the top of the key. Up top, Leach, left side, Stuckey. Stuckey spins. Finds Thomas, strong drive to the basket in the bucket by Ben Thomas. Much needed hoop for the Hornets to cut it to three. Stops the Woodland 6-0 run. And they try to throw it into Adams and it's taken away by Thomas. One on four to the rack, Thomas can't get it to go and Yoder's got the rebound. Up ahead, this is Moore. And an offensive foul on Mason Moore. Cam McGee hustled back to take the charge. And that'll be another turnover for Woodland as Caswell and Tynum check in. Leach and Thomas will get a breather. Stuckey, catch and shoot triple, that's off the mark. And the rebound to Lincoln Sparks. Sparks, stutter step, got a step on McGee, kicks it left corner for Koontz. Back now to Yoder, he'll take it out between the circles. If Yoder's been in the game, Leach has been on him, now he'll switch with Lance. Koontz got a step on Caswell, had it blocked by Tynan. Picked up by Lance. To the bucket, Euro step for Dane Lance. Four straight for the Hornets has cut it back to one. 19-18. Down to a minute 15 to play here before halftime. Yoder with the basketball now leads Woodland in scoring, but he's been held scoreless so far tonight. Here's Tynum, got it. And Angola was six straight to regain the lead. Sophomore is showing out for Angola tonight. Now we've got an official's timeout. I'm not sure. Somebody's bleeding. Looks like it's Braden Smith. Now they're waiting on somebody to clean it up. Ooh, guess not. Sparks inbounds. Got it into Fleek. Baseline drive and another offensive foul on Woodland. Whatever Smith's issue was, they quickly got that fixed. He's back in the ball game. 46.2 seconds left. This has been a physical, intense ball game right from the start. Lance to McGee as Angola 
appears ready to hold for the final shot. Moore will come out, put a little pressure on McGee. Count is on. McGee to the bucket, lays it up and in. Seven seconds to go. Inbounds comes to Smith. Stops, long three is no good. Tynan with the rebound, and we go to halftime. That's the end of the second quarter, folks. Hornets finish the half on an 8-0 run, and they lead it here at the break by a score of 22-19. More from the Hive after this on Hometown Media. Best One Tire of Angola has served the tri-state area with outstanding tire sales and auto repairs. With all major tire brands, including Bridgestone and Firestone, Best One's tire staff of highly qualified ASE certified technicians can perform a wide range of mechanical repairs. The shop also provides roadside assistance. Best One Tire of Angola, 1101 North Wayne Street.
Are you ready to join the Triton Metal Products starting lineup? You could be a Triton if you have grit, a strong work ethic, and you're ready to make a meaningful difference in your life. Triton offers excellent pay, great benefits, and we will train you. Join an elite team of minds plus machines. Apply now at tritonmp.com slash careers. Buying a new home means a lot of decisions. Starting with, where are you going to get the best mortgage? At First Federal, we offer competitive rates, flexible terms, convenient payment options, and expert-friendly advice, all without the long wait you get from one of those big city financials. Make your dream home a reality. Talk with us. We're an equal housing lender. Tired of waiting for a doctor's referral to start physical therapy? At Indiana Physical Therapy, you don't need a prescription. You have the power to choose where you go for expert care. Our experienced therapists will help you get back to doing what you love. With over 19 locations, getting the care you need has never been easier. Take the first step towards a healthier, more active lifestyle. Visit indianapt.com to schedule your appointment today. Tired of 22 19 the score as we get ready to start the third quarter. Angola finished the first half on an 8 0 run that came on the heels of a 6 0 run by Woodland. To take at the time a 19 to 14 lead. Warriors will have the basketball to start this quarter. Inside Yoder. Right side, the three is up and good for Mason Moore. And just like that, Woodland, with their fourth three of the night, have cut it to a two point ball game. Lance just inside the arc, that one won't go. Husher with a rebound, who picked up two early fouls and played very little in the first half. Yoder rips down the rebound. Inside it goes to Oliver Adams. They start with the two bigs. Adams at 6'8", Yoder at 6'7". Adams missed that one. And Stuckey comes out with a rebound. Husher will take the three. That's short. And Woodland again comes out with a rebound. Poked away by Husher. Yoder able to maintain possession. It was a very physical first half with a number of offensive fouls on both teams. And Smith with a hard drive to the basket is tied it at 24. Lance crossover against Smith. Hands off for McGee. He down the lane, got it to Husher, and he traveled. Tough pass to handle. And now Woodland gets it back off the turnover with a chance to regain the lead. They've opened the second half on a 5-0, or they already have the lead, excuse me. Four twenty two Woodland Smith spins in the paint up of the left hand, too strong. Husher the rebound almost threw it away, able to get it back. McGee comes to Stuckey left of the circle inside to Lance. Here's Caswell, a floater on the baseline. That's no good. And Drew Fleek the rebound. They're going on that scoring burst and 
An 8-0 run to end the half. Angola's come out in the third quarter and very cold. Adams had that one partially blocked. Lance leads the break to McGee and it's through his hands and out of bounds. Luke Meyer, who started the ball game, is back in. Adams started the third quarter at his place. Smith across the timeline. Left side for Mason Moore. Moore against Caswell, and that's going to be an illegal screen on Luke Meyer. Kind of stuck that left leg out and caught just enough of Caswell to catch the official's attention. And a 30-second timeout. Don't forget, we've got more high school basketball coming your way tomorrow night. It'll be the girls' edition as Angola plays host to Leo here at the Hive. We'll get the festivities rolling just before 7.30 tomorrow night. Leo at Angola right here on Hometown Media. Then after that, our next broadcast will come up on Saturday. That'll be boys action once again as Angola will play host to Northridge on Saturday night. Prior to that, Angola has a road game at Garrett on Friday. Of course, with Garrett school policy, no video broadcast for us Friday night. Hornets three minutes into this half, still looking for their first points. They trail at 24-22. Lance will bring it across the timeline. Smith. Inside the Yoder. Lost the handle and that's out of bounds. It'll be Angola basketball. Lance into the front court. Dane with six tonight. And that pass too tall for Husher and it's out of bounds. Substitution as Lincoln Sparks will check in for Mason Moore. Sparks will be picked up by Caswell. Right side for Smith, who's got three from behind the arc tonight. Pulls up free throw line and knocks that one down. And it's a four point lead now for Woodland. Caswell, he leads Angola in scoring tonight with eight. Bucket by Smith, put him in double figures. McGee will take the three, and that's good for Cam McGee. Yoder spins in the lane and puts it up with the left hand, and that's good. And it's 28-25. A little bit of screen difficulty there for a minute. That's going to go against Caswell. Three ten to go, third quarter. was the first against Caswell. Sparks, top of the key, right side for Fleek, who will reset it for Woodland. Tried to 
flip it over to Meyer, and it looked like the ball just got away from him, and it goes out of bounds. It'll be Angola basketball with a chance to tie with a three. Jace Coots is back in for Woodland as he comes in to replace Drew Fleet. McGee, I'm not sure where that was going. Turned over Angola. Two thirty to go in the third. Low scoring but physical affair here tonight between Woodland and Angola. Lots of pushing and shoving going on down low between Stuckey and Yoder. And Yoder landed out of bounds before he could throw it off of Stuckey, and that'll send it back the other way. Yoder came in averaging 16 a game. He's been held to two through nearly three quarters. And in large part to the job Ryan Stuckey has done on him defensively. Caswell, whip pass inside for a Husher, and Yoder's going to pick up the foul. And Yoder in a little bit of disbelief at the whistle. And that's going to send Kyler Husher to the free throw line. 2-0-1 to play. Third quarter. Husher's free throw no good. Substitution as Drew Fleek has checked back in. Usher missed them both. Long rebound to Yoder. Smith down low for Yoder, and he gets it up and in over Usher. And the lead back to five. McGee in amongst the trees, can't get it to go, and Fleek's got the rebound. Up ahead, Fleek uncontested to the basket, lays it up and in. And seven points, the biggest lead of the night for either team. Usher finds McGee, extra pass, Caswell for a triple. That rims out no good. And the rebound to Drew Fleet. Got it to Smith. Under a minute to go, third quarter. Inside Yoder. Extra pass Smith. They'll get it back to Fleek in the corner. His three is no good. And Caswell comes out with a rebound. Stucky hard to the basket. Can't get it to go. And a steal by Lance. And he may put one down, lays it in. That's number one, Nate Lance, two points for Angola. And stops the mini run by Woodland, it's 32-27. Yoder spun in the lane. They're going to nail Caswell with the foul. That'll be his second. That's the third of the quarter for Angola. Meyer will throw it in. It comes into Smith. Pulls up from 17. That rims out. No good. Tapped up and in by Fleek. Drew Fleek. And then Yoder steals it. And they put it in. Or Fleek stole it and put it in. Go, 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 go. 
And Woodland will take a nine point lead to the fourth quarter. We're back after this on Hometown Media. That's it, that's the winning play. I'm Wes Hankey, Realtor with Mike Thomas Associates. And I'm Paul Lang, Mortgage Lender with Bailey & Wood Financial Group. Let, Let us help you win, win by scoring your dream home. Ball. Ben Thomas is in the game. He'll throw it in the leech. Two seniors, three sophomores on the court for Angola. Thomas will hand off for Lance. Now McGee. He pulls his way in the lane, trying to get it to Tynum, and somehow saves it out to Leach. Back to McGee. Inside, Lant or Tynum had it rejected. And it's out of bounds. It'll be Angola basketball. Leach along three, that rims out no good. Thomas the rebound, couldn't get it to go. Yoder blocked it and got the rebound. Now it's loose on the floor, still loose. They'll get it to McGee, he'll lay it up no good, but a hard foul will send Cam McGee to the free throw line. This has been an extra physical game. I think both teams probably appreciative of the fact that it's not a Friday-Saturday doubleheader Friday night game. This would be tough to come back from the next night. McGee's free throw is good. McGee hits them both. And that cuts the lead to 36-29. Yoder trapped, and Woodland is going to get the full timeout. We'll take it with them. We are back after this. You're watching high school basketball. It's powered by the Steuben County REMC on Hometown Media. Um, okay, hi. So what is the occasion, Fancy Pants? Ah, that fancy DQ caramel fudge cheesecake blizzard is the occasion. Ooh, looks so indulgent. You know, this was a really great idea. Glad I thought of this. I thought of it. Yeah, maybe go ahead, let her have this one, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> DQ, happy tastes good. Steuben County REMC wants to give your students a memorable experience this summer. For an unforgettable day, high school students can apply for Page Day and spend the day in session with the Indiana Senate. High school students looking for a trip of a lifetime, check out the Indiana Youth Tour and have the Washington, D.C. experience. For your younger students in the sixth grade wanting to spread their wings, Touchstone Energy Camp is perfect for them. We can't forget the young artists in the family. Students of all ages can submit their artwork to the Cooperative Calendar Art Contest. Did I mention it's all free? Find out more information or apply at www.remcsteuben.com. 
29, Woodland leads Angola, 7-0-1 to play here in the fourth quarter. Woodland used the timeout after Yoder was trapped with the basketball near the timeline. Angola going to have to come up with some stops here in this quarter. Smith will take the long three, and that's no good. Yoder got the rebound, put it on the floor and lost it, put it back up, no good. Battle for it, out of bounds, will stay on this end. Inbounds for Yoder, up and no. And a ball knocked around, and Fleek picks it up and puts it in. And it's back to a nine-point lead. Lance into the lane, had it taken away. And back the other way comes Woodland. And Fleek again, can't get that one to go. McGee comes out with the basketball, a little out of control, and that'll be a whistle and a foul on Woodland. And they're going to put that on Yoder. And that'll be his third. Lance works it up top. Oliver Adams came all the way out there on him. Lance drives in, floater up, no good. Dane got his own rebound, had it blocked. Now it's loose on the floor again, a scrum. And what we got? The timeout taken by Angola. This has been a brutally physical game. We're back after this on Hometown Media. Josh Maggard with Senior Financial Solutions is your local source for Medicare, health, and life insurance, as well as retirement planning. Josh has been serving the entire tri-state area for over a decade, while the team at Senior Financial Solutions has over 125 years of combined experience and are able to offer multiple options in Medicare and retirement planning. Local, personal, and professional, Josh will work with you each step of the way. Hi, I'm Josh Maggard. Call me at 260-667-8449 for your free consultation today. Ever thought the day would come where you could apply for a mortgage from the comfort of your living room or home office? With our online loan application, you can go to our website and apply for a loan when it's most convenient for you. We make getting a loan approval fast and easy. Our local bankers are available to assist you if you have any questions. We're an equal housing lender. Action as Angola throws it in. Here's Tynum at the free throw line. Up top for Caswell. Left side Thomas. Back out to Caswell. A little floater in the lane. Off the glass is good for Tommy Caswell. And he is the first Hornet into double figures with 10. A late flurry by Drew Fleek has put him as the game's leading scorer with 12. Braden Smith with the basketball now also in double figures for Woodland with 10. Leach got a hand on that basketball but then couldn't find it. Here's Sparks against Thomas. Left side, Smith drives on Stuckey. Tynum come in to help out, got it to Adams, couldn't get it to go down and Angola comes out with it. McGee against Adams, left kick for Stuckey, three in the air is good for Ryan Stuckey. And now almost chaotic things have happened in this game. Lance and Husher will check back in. Tynum and Stuckey will come out.
Hornets have cut it to four. It's 38-34. Still a long way to go. 4.38 to play in the fourth quarter. And now we've got a whistle away from the ball on the inbound. That's going to be a hold on Thomas. Ben Thomas picks up his first. That is the first foul against Angola here this quarter. Yoder to inbound. Thomas knocked it away. And they try to get it to Smith. And they'll do it again. Yoder finally got it into Fleet. Now to Sparks into the front court. Kicks in the corner for Moore. Out to Smith for a three, and that's no good. And the rebound to Caswell. Tommy to Tyna, or to Husher, lays it up and in. And it's a two-point ball game. And a whistle and a foul. And Husher's down under the basket. The foul's going to go on Fleet. And it'll be one shot, Husher to his feet. And he'll have a chance to make this a one-point ball game. Stuckey to the scorer's table. He'll check back in for Angola. I think Thomas may have a little blood on his jersey. Usher a chance to cut this to a one-point lead. It was nine just a couple of minutes ago. Couldn't get the free throw to go, and Braden Smith has the rebound. Still, it's a one-possession game. It comes to Fleek. Inside to Coots and some quick hands by Caswell to knock it out of bounds. It comes to Yoder as we come up on the midway point of the fourth quarter. 4.02 to play. Yoder drives in and foul out on the floor before the shot. And that's going to go on Stuckey. His second. Second against Angola this quarter. Meyer is back in. Koontz will have a seat on the Woodland bench. McGee checks out. Max Tynan checks back in for Angola. That's poked away, and Husher are going to be nailed with a foul. For Kyler Husher, that'll be his third. Inbounds comes to Moore. Here's Smith. Had his pocket picked by Stuckey. And a foul is going to be out. They just called an offensive foul on Ryan Stuckey. I don't know if I've ever seen that called before. Fleek will inbound, comes into Smith. Back to Fleek, full court pressure by Angola. Smith into the front court, and that's going to be another offensive foul on Smith. There have been a ton of offensive fouls in this ball game. And for Smith, that's his third. Pam McGee will check back in for Angola. He'll come in to replace Ryan Stuckey. Here's Husher. 
Now to Caswell. Bucket will tie. Three could give in goal of the lead as we're under three and a half to play. McGee stutter step right side of the lane. Kicks it back out for Lance. Fall away on the baseline. Good for Jane Lance, and we're tied at 38. One ball was knocked away briefly. Meyer able to retain it. Malik will take the three. That's a brick. Yoder got the rebound. Kicks in the corner for Smith. Catch and shoot three is good for Smith. And that re-gives Woodland the lead at 41 to 38. And a timeout on the floor. We'll be back after this. You're watching High School Basketball. It's powered by the Steuben County REMC. That's it. That's the winning play. I'm Wes Hanke, Realtor with Mike Thomas Associates. And I'm Paul Lang, mortgage lender with Bailey and Wood Financial Group. Let, Let us help, help you win by scoring your dream home. Forty-one thirty-eight. The three from Braden Smith gives Woodland the lead. Smith now with game high honors with thirteen. Two players for each team in double figures. Smith with 13. Also for Woodland, Drew Fleek has 12. Caswell and Lance each with 10 for Angola. And McGee knocking on the door of double figures. He has nine. Caswell to McGee. We're down to 240 to play here in the ball game. Three in the corner from Husher. It's no good. And the rebound pulled down by Fleet. Lincoln Sparks. Left side for Mason Moore. Back to Sparks against Caswell. Coming up on the two-minute mark. Yoder left side. And that's going to be a foul on Lance from behind. So Smith to the good. Stucky back into the ball game. Tynan is out. Smith hits them both. He's got 15. And it's a five point lead for the Warriors with under two to go. Here's Lance for three. That rims out no good. And now with 90 seconds to go, you might see Woodland try to start salting away some of that clock. Here's Yoder. Nope, Fleek will take it in, miss the layup, battle for the rebound, and Husher comes out with it. Down to a minute 18 to go, but you've got to think Angola cannot afford another empty possession here. Lance, a long three is short, and it's out of bounds. It'll be Woodland basketball with a minute eight to go. And Lance got the steal, and he knocked it off Smith out of bounds. So the Hornets will get another shot here.
McGee to inbound, comes in the corner to Caswell. Lance again from deep, that one's good. And a timeout taken by the Hornets. That cuts the Woodland lead to two, it's 43-41. 59 seconds left. We're back after this on Hometown Media. two-point ball game with 59 seconds to play. Both teams will be shooting free throws from here on out. Angola at the five foul quarter limit, Woodland at four, so the next foul for the Warriors would send Angola to the line. Dane Lance leads Angola with 13, Tommy Caswell has 10. Braden Smith leads all scores for Woodland with 15. Drew Fleek has 12. Angola trails by two. They do have the possession arrow. Hornets will press full court. Smith throws it to Yoder, who throws it inbounds to Sparks. Back to Yoder. And trouble getting it across the timeline, and Woodland is going to take a timeout. It'll be a full one. We go with them. You're watching high school basketball at Hometown Media. When you look back at the medical care you receive, it becomes clear that what matters most isn't just where you receive care, but the quality of that care. After all, it's your health, so it's only natural to want more. More skilled physicians and more specialized services. Of course, you also want more technology, like the latest medical equipment and advanced treatment options. However, it's important that healthcare innovations and advanced diagnostics also come with more personalized, one-on-one -on -one care from trusted providers. You'll find all of that and much more right here at Cameron Hospital. Cameron Memorial Community Hospital, moving forward. Angola trails it by a bucket, 43-41. 49 and a half seconds to go in the ball game. Woodland was getting dangerously close to a 10 second call, so head coach John Baker burns the timeout. <laughs> Student section has brought the energy tonight. So it'll be Smith or Fleek to inbound. It comes into Yoder. Up ahead to Smith. Smith will drive in, lost the handle, and that's going to be a held ball on the arrow points to Angola. Husher is going to check back in. He'll replace Max Tynan. Caswell will inbound with 42 and a half seconds to play. Hornets could take the lead with a three. Instead, they'll burn the timeout with 38.1 seconds left. So now the possession arrow points to Woodland. Warriors lead at 43-41. Both teams are gonna be shooting free throws from here on out. Angola at the five foul limit. Woodland at four, so their next foul would send Angola to the line for two. Don't forget, we've got more high school basketball coming your way tomorrow night. It'll be the girls' action 
right here at the Hive as Angola plays host to Leo. We'll have all that with you a little before 7.30 tomorrow night right here on Hometown Media. Still a lot of business to take care of tonight. Reset the stage for you. Woodland with a two-point lead, 43-41. Angola has the basketball out of the timeout. And Woodland has the possession arrow. See Brandon Appleton talking to his crew right there. Angola's going to come out of the huddle with Stuckey and Caswell, McGee, Husher, and Lance. On the floor for Woodland will be Yoder, Moore, Smith, Sparks, and Fleet. 6'7", Trey Yoder will guard the inbound of Ryan Stuckey. Stuckey looks, still looking, comes in in the backcourt to Cam McGee. Hands off to Caswell with 33 seconds to go. Here's Lance, across the top of the key. To Stuckey. Back to Lance. Down to the baseline. Floater up, no. Battle for the rebound. Fleek comes out with it for Woodland. And he is fouled by Caswell. That'll be the third on Tommy Caswell. Comes with 18.9 seconds left. So Fleek can turn this into a two possession game with just 18.9 seconds left. If he could hit a couple here. First one's on the way and good. Got them both. 45-41, Woodland. It's a two-possession game. Caswell inbounds for Lance. Angola not a lot of time to waste. Lance will pull up just beyond half court. That won't go. And the rebound comes down to Woodland. Drops that home. Makes it a five-point ball game. Just 10.2 seconds left. Missed that one. Hornets are going to have to hurry. Here's Lance from way downtown. That's no good. Battle for the rebound, McKee tracks it down, three in the corner, no, and that's gonna do it. Late surge by the Woodland Warriors will send them back to Woodland on a happy bus as they come into Angola and win it tonight, 46 to 41. Braden Smith led all scores with 15. Well, actually, he and Fleek share game high honors with 15. Dane Lance had 13 for Angola. Tommy Caswell had 10 and 9 for Cam McGee. That's going to wrap up our broadcast tonight. We're back at it tomorrow night with girls action as the Lady Hornets return to action here at the Hive as they host Leo. We'll be on with the pregame show a little before 7.30. And the tip off right around 7.30 tomorrow night as Angola host Leo. Again, the final tonight, Woodland comes to Angola and gets out of town with a 46-41 win. 
Matthew Bracey on camera. I'm Brett Briscoe. Have yourself a great Number night. Five, ben Thomas.